Used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face, the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. And, and one more thing, Jack? I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters gives to charity, rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear, even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, San pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. In four weeks, San killed 31 people old men, women, even a few teenagers. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. Yeah, that's actually, I think, a good decision. Because uh, Sand seems to be the biggest fish in town, so I'm not sure if you want to mess with him. Francis Kendrick announces retirement date. I'm not sure if he leaves earlier than we do, but uh, maybe it would be for the best. Okay, Cinema Museum. And we have a new celebrity in, in town. So actually, just shortly about the game. I, I like police games very much. I'm a big fan of um, old games like um, 
like the police quest games and uh, also the SWAT games. And I'm very curious about all the types of police games you can get now, which is not much. Um, actually, that's one of the rare games you can get about yeah, let's say police work, <laughs> even if it's more the shady side of police work. But I, I like the theme very much. Um, yeah. So let's go to the next workday. Oh, the car. <laughs> it's annoying me so much. Okay. Um, okay, sometimes police officers don't want to work. Uh, but we shouldn't uh, always uh, let them have a day off, I think. No, I will not let you go just because... Uh, no. No, I don't let you go for your mirror. Uh, okay. We can uh, give out performance ratings once a week. Very nice. Mm. So I'm not sure. I uh the day before i got the other guys so i'm not sure how good they are but i think we will give our best people the ranks so start the day and we cho can choose our music right not sure if the first one with the guys here is the same from yesterday. No. Let's see. Yeah, it was, I think. Nah. Let's just play it for today and take another one, one tomorrow. Oh yeah, higher and fire. Go to affairs and then police station. So I think we have two job openings. Um, can hire police officers or detectives for different for different shifts yeah that's difficult yeah, I can't watch but actually what would hold you back to get the best people uh, nothing I think so I'm quite sure that we had um, we had uh, one police uh, a detective less in the shift A, so we'll take him for shift A. Oh, we have to fire someone. Okay. Do we want to fire the uh, mirror uh, guy? Yes, I think so. Do we have legal grounds? Oh yeah, too old. We try to do that. Okay. Let's see. Do I really have to fire a guy every every time? No. So now I um, got two additional persons for the two shifts officers. I think that's a good decision. 
we go back to work. Uh, we have vandalism. Okay, mm. some tombstone painted. We don't invest any more time in that one. Another vandalism. Uh, offensive slogans on his new car. Hmm, three people. Not sure about that. I took him now because I didn't want to use another person actually for vandalism. Oh. Yeah, not not that good, right? I'm not actually sure if I would send the best one for vandalism, it would help that much. Suspicious individual. Yeah, let's send a uh, more experienced officer. So we have still Samadhi and the SWAT. Oh no, not again. I think you can't get less than 5 then. Okay, good to know. Yeah, false alarm. Yeah, better than in a bad incident. Okay, uh, Sam Sorkin uh, from the King Louis Knights Club asked us personally, Mr. Boyd, my bouncer stuffed himself, fixing him food again, and now he can't get uh, off the can. Meantime, the line outside the club is stretching out the block. We need to someone else that can tell cool guys from the punks. Hmm, who do we send? Samadhi. I think he's expanding. Roxel Clown carrying balloons. Yeah. We send some experienced guys. Sorry Chief, but I quit in one night I pulled in more cash than I earn in a month working at the stump. So Sokin said he wouldn't mind taking me on. Guess uh, I just wasn't cut out to be cop. Okay, I'm glad we didn't send some of the better guys. <laughs> uh, thanks for your help, Mr. Boyd. So that money goes into my stash. Oops. A suicide threat. Oh, yeah. Let's send our best people. What's this? Oh yeah, we can now hire another person. That's shift A, then we need another one for shift A. So the the game looks easy enough right now. The mechanics are very um, slow paced, very easy to understand, and sometimes you can't really grasp why something doesn't work out, but I think that's normal in police work. Maybe it's a bit of a uh, chance of luck. Maybe. Okay, the clown. Uh, 
No, we don't try to be a customer because in some states, I guess that would be illegal. And no, we don't want to do that because it will not work. We will watch him. And we caught him. Very good. So about the suicide threat. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's <laughs> appropriate uh, thing to do with someone who wants to uh, commit suicide. But yeah. Okay, end of the day. We did it. So we could um, draw them to different shifts. But we want to do that right now. Next day. I'm not sure who Robespierre is, so I don't mind. Uh, that's messed up, actually. Which year we have? Is, is it in the 50s or... When does this game take place, actually? I'm not sure about it. Enemies using feminists to destroy free birth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't believe it, but yeah. Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? <laughs> To get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. She patiently listens to them, asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door on his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate, and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky, ready to fire my warning shots. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally, when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene, or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. The in-laws always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Sally's gonna track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course means anything at all. It's a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. Hello. Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Oh, is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. 
Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call, and my patience is running thin. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Okay. I'll take long. So, Chef B. I'm actually not sure. Uh, that one we hired, I know. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all for that shift, right? So we got this one. Or we want the second one. Destruction of property. Bastards, thieves, bloodsuckers. Yeah. Send some experienced people. If someone commits a serious crime and flees the scene, the, uh, the case goes to your detectives, okay? No. That's one. So we have a homicide. And uh, we give it to Mole. And at the burrito. Black activist Ronnie Moore was found sh uh, shot outside this one. No, it's a heavy, heavy red fan. So someone demands from us that we fire all black employees or next to this, okay, it takes really place in the 50s or 60s or something like that and we will not do that. Could be stupid. Car checking, okay. Ga gas station surveillance uh, camera recorded a car that's on the Stormy Goods list. Let's take two of the more experienced and. Uh, one of the less. Uh, two of the less experienced peoples. So that we have still a good couple for the next thing. So the investigation for the homicide has started, that's good. And first of all we have witness statements. Okay. Drive-by. Professional drive-by. I'm not sure about that statement, Mr. Carr. Maybe we should invite you to the police station. <laughs> so if he didn't hurt shots, but obviously he was shot, then... Um, yeah. That... Uh, is uh, like the same statement with muffled shots. It's okay. Yeah, that could be true too, from Mr. Carpenter. So, he went out after the glass was broken, okay. And then he was gone down, okay. 
so far so good. Destruction of property, we got the guy, the old man. So investigations only opens what the actual case is right. Yeah, that we already saw. Archive, just that, nothing. Older things. Okay. So we are still far away from our half a million. Not sure if it is easy to get or not. Uh, driver is nowhere to be seen. The car. If you wait, uh, then he will go into his car and drive away, right? Mm, yeah, but then he could be one of the guys we are vi um, trying to ask about it. We search the car. Oh shit. Three officers dead. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe that was a really bad decision. Uh, uh, that shift B, right? We will take two new guys for shift B. Thank you very much. Shit. Fire all black cops. So stupid. So what do we have here? Wow. That was really the worst move ever. <laughs> uh, Corey Ramsey, mother of several children, expressed her concerns about a suspicious man by focals. Hmm. Yeah, let's send two uh, experienced people. It's not far away, so it will be taken care of very fast. Wow, three person dead. Mr. Boyd, I'm hoping free, uh, free books first martial arts club. Um, yeah. Help him out. Send Subaki. Even if it's uh, quite, uh, yeah, stereotypical, <laughs> but. Okay, we uh, caught the offender. Suspicious guy. Okay, we have a bar fight. And we have another fight. Yeah, we can't send anyone else. Okay, she hurt herself and took the day off. Well, thanks. So I have to wait. Uh, two strippers uh, fighting. What do we do? Okay, we we try to. Uh, Make some some moves there to to break up the fight, but it didn't work. 
We will not, st uh, not step onto the stage. Be stupid. If we can't wait for it. So we take the bucket of cold water. So I think we made the worst decision with the three dead guys. I think every other decision would be better. Yeah, so the person escaped and we couldn't do anything, but uh, well, okay, we end today now. That's really, really bad. That's really, really bad. Wow. Actually, normally the police chief would now have to leave, I guess. So, retired police officer Thomas Blaine shots pregnant woman. That's not good. He should go to jail. And officer Blaine explains, I thought she was a suicide bomber. He should still go to prison for that. Mayor Rogers said he has no problems with racists. I don't agree, actually. Why would a man need a barn to store all the stuff you can't bring home? About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. After a day in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. But even back then, there's something I always kept in the barn. Drugs? Really? I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking on my barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. In all the years we worked together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. But he never came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn, especially guests with their own personal bodyguards. But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. Yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? Jack, I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. You told your Mafia friends about your plans. Jackie. If I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me. My family, my relatives, God, Jack, I don't know who else. They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. Your contract, Frank? Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. Now is not the time, Jack, please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need an inside line at police headquarters. I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. 
He's the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. So that's a very tough decision. I mean, think about it, right? I think the the game wants me to earn the half half a million dollar to to get a good re retirement fund, and you you have to get the half a million, I guess, by shady deals. Not only by using your police officers to do some things on the side, but the problem is. Um, if I agree to help him, then I probably have to do really, really bad things in, in the game, right? So, um, making some evidence disappear or uh, messing up some investigations or, or really bad things. So, on the other hand, I don't know if they get to me. Um, with my wife or my children also. So it's very difficult. And of course um, his, his family is in jeopardy, right? So he is a big idiot. I'm a big idiot too, but he's at the moment he's a bigger idiot. What to do? I'm I'm really not sure. So probably I will make a cut here and then uh, come back to this decision in the next video. Sorry for the cliffhanger. Bye bye. <laughs>